pressure. And so in the task force, we talk about several direct measures that the U.S. government, along with its counterparts in North America, could take. Many of these are reducing regulations, the things that slow or make it more expensive to produce in the various countries or across borders. Um, many of these involve investment, investment in the border, investment in infrastructure that makes the trucks and other things go more quickly across the border, speed the movement of goods. And then others are really reducing the bureaucracy. So whether it's creating a one single and electronic window for customs and other things, uh, whether it's other ways of speeding the bureaucracy, thinning it out, streamlining it, all of this would help the companies that today increasingly thousands and thousands of companies that are producing on both sides of the border and then that helping both those companies' bottom lines but the workers within all those companies. Well, a big part of it is to get the three countries to begin working together. And one of the things that we lay out in this task force is that whether it's economic issues, whether it's energy issues, security issues, or even immigration, labor force issues, that we should be working trilateral where we can and bilateral only where we must. So part of the issue is getting all three governments, Canada, the United States, and Mexico, to debate, to discuss, but really to move forward on many of these policy issues as three countries together, as North America, rather than just as countries alone or in bilateral relationships. You know, there are, there are many different challenges in different areas, but I think one of the biggest challenges, at least from the U.S. perspective, is in the United States, many times the attention of our policy leaders, of our elected officials, focuses on areas of crisis rather than areas of opportunity. And so much of their attention is taken by the Middle East, um, by Syria, by Asia, by even China, and the, and the difficulties or challenges there rather than focusing more closely on areas like North America, which are incredibly important but are not urgent. And so I think one of the big challenges is to have North America be part of the day-to-day -day thinking of at least U.S. policymakers, if not Mexican and Canadian as well. But that day-to-day -day thinking, how are policies they're making all over the world going to affect things in our region, in North America itself? You know, North America, with almost 500 million people, with together one of the biggest, the biggest economy in the world, but one of the big weights, it can play an incredibly important role. It can influence global debates. And as we've seen over the last 20 to 30 years, more and more issues will depend on multilateral solutions. No country alone, not the United States, not China, not even Europe on its own, can solve these issues. So whether it's global financial architecture and how do you stop another financial downturn, whether it's issues of climate change, whether it's issues of security with transnational crime, all of these are increasingly going to be solved in multilateral ways. And by working together as three nations, as North America, as a region, every country, and including the United States, will have a much stronger hand in pushing forward their agendas and pushing forward the things that they think will make the world a better place in these myriad ways.